All right, we're live. Back with the Skate Filet Podcast. Today's January 4th, 2017. I'm Grant Fierro. This is Angie Shanley and Michael Medina. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, my mic, you already started talking about it. Let's go. Leticia's New Year's Battle Commander. What are you thinking? It came out on the 31st. Uh, was it that or the first? One, I don't know. I think the first, maybe. Whatever. Uh, it was cool. I feel like we we saw a lot of tricks that people typically just like post on their Instagram. <laughs> so it was cool. It was. Oh no, I'm not saying that. It was really enjoyable to watch. I think that. Um, okay. Held to the standards of other battle commanders, it was definitely like not there. But then again, it's like. I just think that there was like this like uh, this idea that like Leticia was just hands down the best ever girl skateboarder, you know? And I think that since then, like so many better girl skateboarders have surfaced, whether it be online or whether it be through other companies, that it's kind of just like sick, but what else can you do? I agree, Mike. I had the same exact thought during hers. Like it was like, enjoyable to watch for sure. It was she was killing it. Absolutely. But as far as a battle commander, like I don't know. Like I, I expect like fire shit out of a battle commander. And there was like three, four tricks where I was like, that was sick. And there was other things where I was like, that's sick, but like you know what I mean? People other people do that shit in a line. Uh -huh. for, for Instagram. For that. Yeah. What I think is unfortunate is like I don't know. I feel like like here's women skateboarding, and she's kind of over here. Like she's a woman and she skateboards, but I feel like she's not involved with like what women skateboarding is trying to do. You know, like they just released that that new full length all girls skate video, and like I don't think she really has any connection to it at all. That's um, kind of weird. Because she's so, definitely as like the post. She's like a poster child for women skateboarding, right? Yeah, but she's sure not. When in my comp uh, in my opinion, I feel like it should be Lacey. I'd yeah. much rather see a Lacey battle commander, and that's just me personally. Or even some of those new girls like coming up, like that Fuck Mariah yeah. Dureo and that Elena yeah. Smith. Like there are some really, really talented yeah. girls yeah, got, coming up. Yeah, that there's I think we have great. a we have a girl skateboarder on Fargo team, Ariana Spencer. She fucking rips, dude. Like she's yeah. realistically, I'm not trying to hate on Leticia one bit. But Ariana could have done 90% of that. Yeah, I think – and I think it's unfortunate just because she has the sponsors. Mm -hmm. that she especially it's now, marketability, that, though. Especially now. And marketability is always going to be a thing, and it's always been a thing in skateboarding. Yeah. Yeah, but I think course. that when you, when, you, um, when you talk about marketability through women, there's an, it's entirely different. Completely thing. different. I would agree. I would agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's like now it's like we can appreciate a woman skateboarding. Like I said, Lacey Baker is my favorite girl skateboarder, hands fucking down. No one even really close. But I mean, in comparison to like looks wise, Leticia is fucking gorgeous. You know what I mean? So it's like it's hard not to be able to market her that way, especially with Nike and Plan B backing mm -hmm. her. Um, but I mean, I don't know. It's it's far as like I feel like we're getting off topic because we're not talking about the battle commander like as a part anymore. But like. I don't know. A marketing standpoint, she's gold. But as far as me wanting to see really like high caliber skateboarding and see it from women, I don't think that she's just that it for me. Like right now, like I she has bangers, she kills it. Leticia is an excellent skateboarder. I'm just saying, like, I, I, I like to just to bring it back to Lacey. Like, I want to see a Lacey battle commander. I would much rather see that. Well, like, I'm super hyped to see them on King of the Road. Fuck uh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, that'll be entertaining. They're the guests. And I, I don't know. Like, I mean, maybe it kind of comes back down to that. And I know I've asked people about it, and they've told me maybe I'm overthinking it. But I think there is a divide between, like, the barracks crowd and the thrasher crowd. And I feel uh, like... I don't know. I just think that as far as, like, women skateboarding, there's, like, we only know of, like, a handful. And a lot of them are transition skateboarders, so they don't get the coverage that other girl skateboarders get. Well, yeah, I mean, like Lizzie, we hear a lot about Lizzie. Just right, and we've been, been, yeah, but Lizzie was one of like the OGs, like women skateboarding wise. Like she's, I mean, I've known about Lizzie forever. As soon as she came up, they like put her everywhere. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Same with um, uh, what's her face? Um, I can't think of her name right now. 
Um, oh, anyway, sorry. I, I don't know. I mean, I right think hopefully we will see with like this full length video coming out and trans world backing it. Like, and I oh. think that there, when I talked to, um, I interviewed Monique O'Toole who shot a lot of um, Quit Your Day Job. Like she mentioned that maybe they would do like a national tour for the video. So hopefully with that happening and more, you know, recognition to that video, maybe we'll see more. And I know like there is a lot going on at the barracks to start including the girls too. Um, like they had, they had like an all girl skate night after that video premiered and stuff. So I mean, maybe I, I, we can be optimistic absolutely about it. And yeah, and the barracks has been supportive with those. They've done those, yeah. girl, those girl skate, whatever they call it. Yeah. Jam they do the whatever. Poseidon. Um, times, yeah. The Poseidon foundation does like once a month or something, I think. Oh, yeah, I actually kind of just like thinking, heard about them recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking of Nora as well, who I was thinking of. Okay, yeah. yeah and like she'll be like Kayla, correct? Yeah, and exactly, but like she's okay. one that has um she's backed by Adidas. She's backed like she and um like she has the like, recognition. Yeah, welcome. And she has like the recognition of like, you know, like being this pretty girl or whatever, but she doesn't skate street. She's not going to be in street league. Mhm. Mm yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird like um, area, I guess, that's never really been touched on that in depth before, especially since the TC came through. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> go ahead, Andrew. But I was just gonna go say ahead. that I, I think, I think maybe we're beginning to come to a point where there isn't such a divide. Maybe. I mean, maybe the I divide hope is. So. I is, hope so. Yeah, the gap cool. is closing a little bit, and um, you know the fact that they could produce a full-length video and put it out and have it be super successful and have it be backed by some really cool people. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, maybe maybe we'll see it change. I don't know. Hey, Grant. Yes, sir. Would you date a girl skateboarder? Oh God. <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> this, this is, is a legit so... question. This is a legit okay. question. Uh, sure. Would I mean, you depending would... on a lot of things, but sure. Depending on what things, I mean, it, just, I mean, okay, like if it's down to the point of like, I really like this girl and she doesn't yeah. skate or she skates, that's not going to be like a deciding. No, factor. that's not what I'm saying. Like I'm saying, like you meet a chick and like you guys are like dating or whatever, like but with, without the title, but you guys skate. Like in your off time, you guys go skate together. Um, I, I, Would I don't you know. Be down? Like, maybe. Yeah. I don't we know. talk about this on See, the Nine Club all the time, and most of the guys. It's legit. It's legit. I would definitely date a girl that skateboards. Roger no was like, "Remember, Roger talked about this one time, and he was like, at first I thought it was really cool. He's like, but then I just thought it started getting really weird." And they talked I, about it with Blake too, and Blake was like talking about the girl like not bathing. I feel like he was like, Ooh. "See, but I don't want like some hash ass chick. I just want a girl who skates. I don't want some hash chick." <laughs> That's funny. Like I don't, I don't want, I don't uh, want a girl who like rides anti-aerial boards. Like, <laughs> like, what do you want her to ski, Mike? I don't know. I was just yeah. making, a, I was just making a dirty one eight joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, um, topic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we're gonna move on to, as Mike calls him, the Zygo. Evan Smith dropped another part. Jesus, he just won't dude. stop. So if, he would, so if he would so if he would my main thing is that I've been getting approached with this one a lot. So if he would have dropped this prior or just after Kyle, would he have been Sody? Oh, I have no idea. Five I parts in a know. year? That'd be I mean, fucked. Fuck. Was it, was it, was it five or four? Five. That would have been fifth. If, Spit listen, listen. if this would have dropped last year, there was a uh, time no lapse. Time park. trap. Yeah, time, time trap. trap. No, no hotels. hotels. Uh, Zygo, and there was another one, homie video. What is it? Well, no hotels was the shop video. Oh, there's he. No, dude, he had four video parts. Okay. Why can't I think of them? Right? Huh? Was, there, was there a DC one? Dude, no, there's four of them. I just gotta think. But anyway, back to my original. I feel like um, I don't know. I, I, I personally. I don't know. I mean, it's such a toss-up. That's why I keep saying I don't know. It's like him and Kyle both went off so hard. Dude, but I guess I, I guess I would shit. still say Kyle maybe, but I would Evan, Evan's on a heavy start to 2017. So, and his footage is so enjoyable. 
It is. Oh, very, very. Um, it's like, I... he's, well, I'm sorry. He's just, I was just going to say, like, he's one of those dudes that can land sketchy and no one cares. Yeah, because it's so stylish. Yep, no one it cares. It looks so, so natural. Like, he's just flowing around. I agree. And I think, like, I started watching it, like, initially I was like, oh, it's just another, like, Evan Smith video where he's doing all these crazy, like, hippie things, and they have this blurry, like, blurry picture, and it's in black and white. But then, like, it, like as I was watching it, I was so hyped on it, and I think his time trap part is, like, one of my most favorite parts ever. And yeah, so in my mind, fine. I was, like, trying to figure out why. Um, I think the thing about Evan Smith is he can skate things that other guys can't. I think that's what I like about it is his parts always offer places that you don't see all the time. And I, I mean, I can't rely on this answer for the rest of my life, but like, I love when skateboarding is beautiful. And I think mm -hmm. when you get to go to these other places, that's not a schoolyard somewhere in LA, like, that's when it really becomes beautiful. And I think that Evan Smith skating is incredibly beautiful because... I think, no, I mean, I think that makes sense. And I think it's just because of his ability to skate so many different things. Yeah, he can skate things that other guys can't do because of his style. Like, I agree mm -hmm. with Grant, too. Like, if, it, if he didn't have that style, then it wouldn't be as amazing as it is. But... You know what's sick was when you did that, uh, in that one line, he did switch, switch heel, switch many. And then he like gapped onto that ledge, but like gapped to hang up and just popped yeah, up. Yeah, I love that. that. So rad. I love like that. little things like that, where it's like you're watching the switch heel manual, and you're either thinking, okay, he's, you know, the menu pad's gonna end, or even if there's another block, he's gonna switch ollie to it. But just like a little thing like that, like spices it up, and like it just like keeps your attention and makes you want to know what's gonna happen next. Like you, you just never know what Evan's gonna do. I absolutely. I, I think agree. I think just just pure excitement and enjoyable. And I mean, friggin'. Obviously, he's freaking love skating because amount of footage we get out of him. He's out there every day, pretty much. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. there's no way well, he's not skating and going on a ton of trips. We don't see it every single day on Instagram either, so I think that's what makes it exciting with him too. You know, we're not burnt yeah. out on what he's doing yeah, because yeah. we get it in these amazing parts, and we're Better we're blown away by it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. I think that's actually a good point. Is the uh, you know he's not blowing up instagram all the time like some other guys and he, and he just puts out more street footage more video parts which is sick which is more important in my opinion yeah i love that yeah like instagram has uh, obviously become a thing to the point where it's like now in contract incentives and everything but like i still think that it's skateboarding and no matter what at the end of the day the video part is most important i agree Cause let me, I love Instagram, but video parts. It, are, it okay. can make a dude who doesn't necessarily have the largest personality become a legend, such as yeah. PJ Oh, uh, That's actually a good point. I like that example. Like PJ doesn't uh, well, sit what? there and post on Instagram, but every video part he drops is legendary. Yeah. And well, we're on the Evan topic. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know if you saw um, Andy Roy posted a photo of him setting up an anti-hero board, which is pretty funny. Um. I'll read the caption. Did you see that, Mike? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll pull it up right now to read the caption. But I've actually – say either the second or third time I've seen him skating an anti-hero. I, I mean, I have no – I haven't heard anything, any sort of rumors of him going over there. But just funny that I, – I just thought the way Andy captioned it. He, so he said, Brock uh, – okay, so pretty much he's saying that he ran into Evan Smith at Double Rock. He broke his board, and I caught him setting up an 18 eagle board. I promise there was no intimidation, no bullying, no violence, no peer pressure, nothing. He just knows 18 boards got mega pop, and he had to try one out. That's it, 18 or die. <laughs> How does that work? How does that work? Like, what does Element think about that? I mean, they're not hyped. Not hyped. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, does, isn't that somewhat risky for Evan to do, or no? Is it not that? I don't think Evan cares, but uh, I yeah, don't I either. Call it risky. I don't think Evan cares about anything. I think Element needs <laughs> Evan a lot more than Evan needs Element. I would agree. I would oh, agree yeah. completely. <laughs> That's for damn sure. So yeah, I, I guess I guess when you're at that point of help, like. I agree with Mike. The brand probably really is. They're hyped to have Evan. 
So he could probably he could probably <laughs> no shit. He could, they could be a little lenient with him, I guess. I'm doing, I mean, they're probably not stoked. I wouldn't be surprised if they hit him up about that, but he did it. It's on Instagram, and that's pretty much history. You know, what I mean? like it's nothing they can do now. He he got caught set up an anti air board. That's that's it. Hmm. I mean, one eight. I, dude. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's, it's the, the, no intimidation, no peer pressure. That all is that's just hilarious. Um, <laughs> well, let's talk. Well, while we're on board companies, Expedition One, um, Laters lost lost another professional, lost Matt the Miller, big name guy they have. Um, yeah. So if if I'm correct, they're down to Kelly Hart and Kenny Hoyle. That's that's the only boards uh, they have on their website. What about little uh, yeah. little Will? Yeah, but he's not like on. For sure. Him up. No, he's I wrong. think that he's. Oh, he's just flow. I was gonna say. I thought he's oh, been on for like ever. I don't know. They've been hooking him up, taking care of him forever for like I don't, ten I don't years. Never actually like welcomed him. For sure. So um. No, well, well, Rams, dude. Um. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah, so pretty much. I mean, that's. I'm, it's not a surprise. I don't think anyone's too shocked to see that Matt Miller's moving on. I think um, that everyone was kind of waiting for him. Exactly, I agree completely. I think it was just like, when's he gonna leave? So like, my main thing is like, Kenny Hoyle's the lone survivor. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy, honestly. What? To me, to me at this point, I, I'm pretty much just like, so when's when's some sort of announcement coming that they can't do this anymore? Because yeah. they nearly don't have a team. Are they paying Kelly? Like, what's going I don't understand. Oh, they've got to be paying him. Oh, you think? Or I, I mean, well, that's the company that he was always trying to ride for. Is he TM at – I know he's brand manager for S, I thought. Oh. He's TM for uh, Expedition. Oh, he is? So he's managing himself and another person? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know who else. I mean, I don't think he's doing a very good job. <laughs> It's not his fault. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. When, when a company owes a dude ten thousand dollars, that's not the TM's fault. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, I um, I'm just I'm just busting balls. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. Matt Miller's been playing with Instagram. Yeah, um, it's kind of like it's very hinting at, very... Hinting at a little something. So what that accident, that accidental cool ass graphic. I know. I was just looking at it. It kind of does look sick. Wait, Very I funny. must not have seen that yet. <laughs> it's just like a squiggly line over a oh, white. It just looks cool. Sick. I don't know why. It reminds me of like a quasi board for some reason. But wait, <laughs> do you think that he's starting a new brand? Like, really, we have got to stop all of these like new like. I don't want to be on this company anymore. I'm just going to start my new brand. Like. How, well, how can this go on forever? That I one's mean, kind of a sinking ship, though. We were expecting all that. Well, what makes you think he's starting a new company? Because it says. Look at that post. Which it one? something about, like, that last one or two posts ago. It says something about working on something with my friends or something like that. Yeah, it's Shane O'Neill said the same thing, and he went to Primitive. Good point. Oh. Good point. It doesn't mean he's starting a brand. It means Shane literally he's said going the to a same company thing. that his friends work for, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, I guess, it, and it says just a couple new stickers on the horizon. So, yeah, where, so, um, where is he going? He's been yeah, on there for so up. long. I don't know where. So he's hyped go. to be doing something new with friends soon. Is that? I hope he, I hope he doesn't go to that Manti, Manny Santiago brand. I was thinking either visual, or I saw kind of floating around on his Instagram, maybe skate mental, but I don't know. Oh, that'd be like, sick. I don't know the connections between. You know, like who he knows or who he's. I don't know, but I just love skate mental. The only yeah, I have thing. No I, clue what he's gonna do. Me either. Jim, give him boards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's a waiting game. None of us seem to have too, too great of a guess. Um, I mean, he's been on expedition for so long. For so long. That it's just kind of like. Mm, I mean. Mm. Well, there's. Pretty soon. He, I mean, apparently, that's what he's hinting at. Um, still board brand news. Jamie Foy was put on Death Wish, which is shocking. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was kind yeah, of so a man for Death Wish. Woo, let's get it. Good for him, though. That's, maybe, maybe his check went up a little bit. All right. Um, Pay that boy. Yeah, I don't know. There's not, not a ton to say there. 
Hopefully he has his name on a board in the soon future because it's more than deserved. ASAP. Um, ASAP. Seriously. Uh, Shane O'Neill won Populist. Back to the barracks. What is um, that? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you love making fun of Populist, don't you? I love making fun <laughs> of Populist so much. It seems like your favorite thing to do. It's so goofy. I just don't understand. It's like this, no, we hate Thrasher. We're not going to include any of the Thrasher accolades at all. Nothing they did in Thrasher means shit. If they did a banging, they're fucking populist. <laughs> I, I I feel like Thrasher does the same thing though. They they like they like don't write about. Well, they don't include bangins. No, 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 no. But think about like um, 2015 when they they would list what what everyone did, and none of the dudes that had push parts they would not put that they had a push part. That's true. You're right about that. You're, that's only, a, you're only the only reason you care is because of Shad though. <laughs> or Trevor. Trevor deserved a little oh, more. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Cut. That, that was trash. Part. That push. He part. had that and Chronicles, and then even put him on Sony nomination. I was like, you guys are. That's true. You're blowing it. You're blowing. You're right it. about but whatever. That. Um. Yeah, I think Shane winning isn't necessarily a huge surprise because we could see him on the next year list. Oh, for he could win. He could go Sony this year. That's more than possible. I mean, because you year. think about it, like, think about. He's been he's been out filming a lot. He was just in Australia. Said he did worked on a project for two weeks. He's got definitely some stuff coming out for sure. And he kills Instagram. He breaks Instagram all the time. People, everyone's reposting his clips. I'd rather see Trevor. So, you talking about Trevor? I'm talking Shane. about Shane right now. Oh, Shane's fucked. But, yeah. Shane is on another level. It's got to be like Trevor. We'll, we'll, we'll see this game later. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying about it's Trevor. Trevor, man. Yeah. Tony contender this year, right? It's definitely possible. Hopefully well, he stays that, healthy, put out the yeah. middle part, and then yeah. who knows? Yeah. Something else. W6, Thrasher, something for, for Thrasher would be perfect. That's a good way to win, Sony. Put put yeah. everything out on Thrasher. Yeah, because then you got a video part for your board sponsor, which is pretty important, you know? And then you got the Thrasher yeah. love. Those are so it's like, all right, automatic contender if it's bangers, which we already know it's gone. Yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't be yeah, bummed if Trevor won. That'd be sick. Obviously, That'd be rad if you were. obviously, like unless you know one of the like, my favorites were to just drop a part or two this year. I'm obviously like on the on the same fucking um, Shane boat that I'm on usually. <laughs> yeah, dude. Shane, I think for Shane, I'll have a heavy year. I mean, because he hasn't. Welcome to Primitive was his last part. Yeah, and that's been a second. I mean, it hasn't been forever, but it was last year. But working. he dropped Shane goes last year. And Shane goes. Yeah, twenty fifteen was heavy for Shane for sure. Yeah, but a um, I think twenty seventeen will be too. I think the same for Ashad because Ashad didn't drop like a uh, his last full video part was twenty fifteen. Ashad Sodi every which year. makes me think twenty seventeen is <laughs> gonna go off. He the best. Oh, actually, I didn't write this on the list, but I just thought of it right now. If you watch, um, Stephen Laura had a Now You Know on the on Heliclips, and he says that Mafia is trying to put out a, a video by May, hopefully. That'd be gnarly. What ever happened going with to, all that pro talk? For Steven? Pro, yeah. I mean, guess this next video, maybe. Yeah. I know, um, I was thinking yeah. about that the other day as well, that, uh, you know, and even like, a, I mean, I know Alexis hasn't been around He's for as long, yeah. but I, I just was thinking about the the Mafia video and how when it premiered, like, we were all speculating so much that somebody was going to turn pro yeah, at totally. that video. And yeah, nobody for sure. did. when I went to that premiere, I was like, all right, someone's getting aboard tonight. I thought but so too. If it did, since it didn't happen, I would say for sure this next video that they're trying to drop this summer, Steven I mean, probably. Yeah, I was gonna say by video they could always do like the Vans approach, where it's like yeah. a two, a two I don't know. video. Mafia but seems to be hyped on the. Yeah, Mafia seems to be hyped on their uh, their full lengths. Which yeah, is sick. Gotta, I love full They have to introduce the Tiago. Oh yeah, that yeah. He had some footage in the last one, but not a part. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, we want to see all that fucked up shit he's been doing. Wally he kicked some uh, shit. What? <laughs> and then, um, oh, and he also said they're going to Barcelona, like I think next month to film. So they're getting, they're fully getting after that video, which is sick. I they're think, I, you know what? I, I think what made me think about it is you see like Laurel, um, with Nick Tucker quite a bit filming, um, 
which I am assuming is some for the push, but I, I think just thinking about seeing Laurel with Nick all the time, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if maybe Mafia is working on something and then on and on. But it seems like Laurel is getting a lot of footage. Am I saying his name right? Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, Laurel Gray. Yeah, so yeah, I, Laurel I think killed that was... in the last video too. He shared his part with Kellen. That was rad. Yeah, that was tight. So yeah, definitely. That's sick. And and well, 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 you mentioned that Nick and Nick and Laurel been friends forever. Yeah, that's Nick was on Mafia. Yeah, exactly. He's from when Nick used to live in San Diego, we grew up there and skated for Mafia. Mm -hmm. Um, well, there's a new shoe company, Mike. <laughs> I'd love oh. to hear your thoughts on this. Insole, com insole shoes. Foot, foot, footprint shoes, I believe, is what's going to be titled. They're they're marketing the whole foot, or I mean, they're cornering the whole foot market. <laughs> <laughs> going straight for the feet. Yeah, they got your insole and your shoe. And socks. What do you think? Did you see the shoe? The the one no. model that Joey had on? I oh, did not missed see it? the shoe. I only saw the bottom of the shoe for whatever reason. Okay. That's all, all right. Well, um, with Agenda coming up this week, I'm sure you'll see the uh, – Yeah, you're going to it, right, Grant? Yeah, I'm planning on going to it. Anybody that's there, say hi to Grant. <laughs> yeah, with him. Yeah, I'm down. He's, he's really gonna, He's going to be by himself. Oh, yeah, be I mean, I'm gonna run into. I'm gonna go hang out with Alfonso when I'm there. But yeah, I was gonna say my friend, my friend Amy will be there. Say hi to her. Well, with roster Claude again. Yeah. Dick. Yeah. And then, so yeah, I have some homies I'm gonna go say hi to, but we'll see. Are you um, bringing your DSLR? Or are you taking iPhone pictures? Oh, I don't have. I don't. DSLR is like a friends of mine in San Diego. I don't have my own, uh, so no. I'm gonna iPhone it. But yeah. you got That's iPhone last time six I plus seven. I wish. Which one? Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll get some photos of all the product for sure. <laughs> all right, uh, so I don't know. I don't know about oh, yeah. I mean, the footprint thing. There's not a ton. I was a little bit surprised, honestly. Like that wasn't something that came to my mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> why? When all these shoe businesses are going out of company, why or out of business? Yeah. Being like, oh, let's start a new shoe company. That's a great idea. No, it's a terrible idea. Yeah. And here's my other thing too. I was like, who's gonna ride for them? Joey. So I was looking at their team page, and I'm like, okay. Who of these people don't already have like an established shoe company that they own or that they're a part of? And who's on FP? Um, okay, it is. Let me think. Guy Reynolds, I, Kevin Romar. Um, let me pull their website up again. Yeah, I'm kind of. It, I believe Schmatty's on, and he's not. He hasn't been like Adidas been hooking him up, but they haven't put him on. Let me look. Schmetti, Schmetti hates black and white things. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that too. We'll to that. Um, Schmetti okay. has some funny tweets. Schmetti needs to say fun. the least. Here we go. Um, I I think Jaws. Yep. Jaws. Oh yeah, Jaws. Those are the ones I bought. The, yeah. Oh, what if they, what if they put Jaws on the team? That'd be sick. So that, that would Jaws, be great. Actually, Jaws had I remember Jaws had like a signature flip flop with them this summer. I'll tell you right now, for being a footprints company that's trying to start a footwear company, having Jaws yeah. would be like ideal. Okay. Yeah. Paul Hart, Ooh. Beagle. Um, Wait, Paul Hart. You Hart's said on Beagle? Beagle. Beagle. Paul oh, Hart's like, what the uh, TK, yeah. Guy Mariano, Joey, TK. Felipe, Kevin Romar, uh, Daniel Espinoza. Jaws, and then I can't. I don't know who the other two guys are. Oh wait, here, uh, Jack Curtin, Yee. and oh, Kel Kelvin Huffler, Dane Berman. Um, Dane? Dane doesn't have one. Maddie. He's gonna Dane's skating New Balances. Yeah, I know, but he's that's yeah. So, so yeah, that's who's on their insult. I could see team. possibly Schmatty going over to the footwear thing. I mean, I feel like he's probably psyched on Adidas. He looks yeah, good. Yeah, he is. He is but, psyched uh, on Adidas. I mean, Joey seems to always taking care of Schmatty, so that's possible. Um, I don't know who else. But I, the second I heard about it, I was thinking, like, they're going to have to – I don't know what they're going to do if they're going to try and keep it, like, very separate so they can keep all these dudes on their insole program. Um, I mean, we've seen Diamond do a pretty good job mm -hmm. at that. Definitely. I'm having, I'm having a stacked team for hardware and then just their, their select dudes on the footwear program, mm -hmm. um, which seems from an outsider's perspective. But important. do you know, do you know, n n not trying to cut you off, do you know a, um, a, like a kind of unknown story about Diamond and Brandon Beeble? Uh, no, go ahead. 
Okay, so Brandon Beeble used to be sponsored by Maddox Clothing. This oh, a, this story, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about that? Uh-huh. And um, Maddox kicked him off the team for wearing Diamond Supply clothing too much. It was uh, – It was uh, what I heard was because he had a Transworld Day in the Life, which you can still yep. go watch. Yep. And he has a diamond shirt in that, and I guess it went against Yeah. Him. Yeah, that's exactly it. But, I mean, that's ridiculous. That's <laughs> his fucking sponsor. Like, are you kidding me? Like, if he had a girl shirt on, they wouldn't have said that. It yeah, was just because know. Diamond – it's because at the time, Diamond was fucking popping, and they didn't want, you know, basically going to a rival or showing off a rival type kind of thing, you know? Yeah. I have a question. How many yeah. guys typically wear insoles in their shoes when they're skating? Like, do a, is it a majority Total preference. Of Total oh, preference. What do you mean, like, 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 third, like a footprint or, that, like, or a remind, like one of those? Yeah, like oh, if I were to go to the skate park, would more people than not be wearing insoles or would... Well, you have to understand that a sh like when you buy a shoe, it has an insole in it. You mean yeah, like, I know that. How many oh, people, people replace don't take them? them out, really? Oh, replace them? Like yeah. with an FP insole or with a remind insole? No one I know, honestly, like not not a ton. Very I'm very like, few wow. people I do, and mostly the ones that that do do it are like older. And they, it's like for their knees, right? I mean, that's the what I get totally. out of the the footprint is that it is like a shock absorber, and it's makes it easier. I mean, your legs. we've all seen those like egg things, you know? Yeah, that, and the bowling you, ball, and yeah, we've all seen that shit. I didn't have a problem with FP insoles. They they blocked me on Instagram, by the way. But fucking. Why? Because I said that their product was trash. What happened? Um, this is like two years ago. But fucking, I bought the, the Jaws are orthotic ones. Like the most expensive shit they had thinking like, oh, they're for Jaws. Oh, they're the most expensive ones. <laughs> They'll be the best. Dude, like, I'm not going to lie. Like after like a month, they just started like crumbling away and like deteriorating. So I, I said something. People say that too. Yeah. So I said something to them on, on like one post and they were like, they said something like super smart ass back to me, like, 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 sorry that that happened to you. There's something we can do about or something like that. And I'm just like, okay, like your your product is garbage. And all of a sudden, I'm like blocked. And I'm just like, oh, okay, butthurt ass fucking kids, man. <laughs> Crazy. Oh. I don't know. I, I mean, Crazy. dude. I mean, and that was like, I wasn't even trying to be a dick. I was just kind of like, yo, like this shit's deteriorating. Does this happen often? Yeah. I don't know. I got, I got beef with FP. Yeah, they were sassy pants over there. Well, that's funny. I wonder I how many kids they get commenting like, this shit's garbage. Like, I, I still can't jump down 10 stairs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've yeah. never tried it personally. Like, none of my friends that I skate with go by. All I know is that, like, what Angie's saying about, like, why would you start a shoe company now? <laughs> why the fuck would you start a shoe company now? Like, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. It's the, na it's the Nike I mean, Adidas sure takeover. That. This is I happening. Get, Nike Adidas, Hans and Vans. That's, yep, that's it. No one cares. To is, like, the skateboarding industry is doing terribly right now. Like, terrible, terrible. Everybody I talk to is, like, Especially it's terrible. shoe companies? Like, what? And, and then it's, like, oh, let's start a board brand. Let's start a shoe brand like I, I mean I don't have any education in finances and I have no room to speak any but I just would think in a in an I industry mean, that thing, is going through a downfall why I wouldn't say the industry is going through a downfall at all personally I okay. think that there's a lot of like I think it's certain brands are succeeding very heavily which causes yeah. certain brands to do the complete opposite yeah so if you look at if you actually look at starting brands, I think personally, I think shoe brands starting right now would be very hard. But you look at new board brands like what you're you what you're mentioning, like Quasi, which was mother, has only been around for a couple of years. That's huge. Fucking awesome is like the biggest board brand. You right look now. at FA, huge. Yeah. Which then they got it. They're able to launch hockey. Yep. Which those are all three of those are doing so, great. Well, right I now. mean, they basically saved skateboarding. So mm -hmm. they they. I mean, I think that fucking awesome, like created an entirely new lane that a lot of board companies are trying to um mimic. look at pizza pizza seems to be doing good love it love it I they got no it. pros no pros their graphics are just so good. delish delish mm -hmm. Hold up. they seem to be doing good then there's uh, numbers we're just gonna have to wait and see numbers my homie, do well my homie just got a numbers board and i'm, I'm not gonna front dude the shape looks great 
<laughs> Shape looks so you're, great. So, so your infamous Walmart graphic, you might have to get one. <laughs> no, I can't do that. If I if I if I were to get, I'll tell you right now. All right, not even trying to be a dick. The miles were, one. If I were to be given a numbers board right now, given because I'm not gonna buy one. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cover that fucker up with big head stickers, dude. <laughs> but you would skate it. I'd skate it and I'd make it look like a yeah, Spitfire skateboard. Yeah, fired up. <laughs> Let's get it. That's funny. That's so um, funny. Not trying to hate because that shape looks excellent. I'm still not feeling this addition uh, well, of Mike, graphics. Mike, you know, you know where they're getting their wood from? It says made in Mexico. And it looks oh, like okay. it looks like a Schmidt so stick. Barabek? Barabek yeah, it has from to Mexico. Be. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I was thinking. But like it literally looks like a Schmidt stick's shape. That's hard to say. Schmidt's yes, stick. shape. Yeah, that's interesting. Hard. Um, did any of you happen to watch the the new series? I guess it's called Atlantic Drift on Thrasher. They had the first episode. I did. Is that the link you sent me? Yeah. Fucking okay, I'm sorry. I was still at work. Oh no, you're good. It was Angie. Go ahead. I would like to hear what you think. Um, I thought it was amazing. Like, I mean, just kind of going back. As Drew would say, sell me on it. So oh, yeah, sell me on it. Why do you Who's think that? Drew? Who's Drew? Uh, Drew's dead. I'm releasing Drew's a I'm releasing a memorial board for him soon. Who's Drew? <laughs> um, well, one I liked it because it was like people that I hadn't heard of or seen before. So I thought that I always get hyped on that. Now I don't know if that like is just me being a rookie or if that's truly the case. I liked it too because I feel like there was a a good variety of skateboarding in it too. It wasn't all just one type of skateboarding. Okay. Like from each rider to the next, you were, it was it was different from each rider to the next, if that makes sense. Um, also back to my whole like skateboarding as an art form thing, I thought it was beautiful. Like I love the European landscape. European skateboarding is always, I mean yeah. not always, but it, it can be very good looking. Pleasing well, to the eye. That like that free skate magazine. That's one of my favorite websites to go to and watch videos because it's just yeah. so gorgeous. A lot of those dudes in that video, I've I've, I've had uh, videos that were on free skate as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love it. I'm freaking psyched that it's a series because I'm trying to watch the next mm -hmm. one. Um, hey. Pretty much, it's just a montage, Mike, um, of a few different European dudes. Um, what the main trick that's sticking in my mind right now is like there's this crazy weird bank with a pillar sticking out like just such a weird obstacle you can't even describe that this one dude wally backside and the next clip he did it front side and the i think maybe cons posted a photo of it of the front side one it was so crazy looking up is it all like like on not really unknown but like not so well known euros yes yeah. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't heard of any of them I, i've heard of like half but i watch a lot of european videos that like aren't on Thrasher or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is, one, this crusty front side Wally is so buck. I loved uh, it. This is just off topic really quickly. Do any of you guys remember when Thrasher was gonna like start like a weekly series on Evan Smith? Mm -mm. No. no. I like I remember watching the first one, but then I don't feel like they ever released any other ones. I remember well, when the Barracks was gonna do the Beagle one. It was like it was gonna be more of like I think kind of like a more personal like a day in the life of Evan Smith because I feel like uh, it had I, I remember watching it and it had like some of his music I think and like him hanging out with some of his friends. That's cool. But I don't. No, I, I missed that. It never went anywhere. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I would say Mike definitely check it out. That Wally is the main thing that stands out to me. I, I probably I wish I remembered more. Um, tricks off the top of my head from it, but there's some crusty, like cool looking Euro spots in there for sure, which is, I think is very enjoyable to watch. Mm -hmm. um, Beeble had his Brandon Beeble had his third push episode yesterday. Um, I think just like usual, he's inspiring, he's fired up, and he's on the streets getting it, which is sick. Uh, Mike, did you scope that? Scope what? Beeble push episode three. I did. It was pretty cool how they talked to like they talked to his dad. I like that. I thought that was sick. That was rad. But, um, uh, yeah. Anything else, Mike or Angie? Either of you can. Go yeah, I mean, I can talk about it a little bit. Um, I loved it, and I always love it when you 
like get a guy's backstory. And I think for me, just like being a teacher, like you talk, like when you hear about a lot of skaters backstories, like they didn't like school, they didn't enjoy it. They didn't <laughs> want any part of it. And for me, like, and, and that's the case for him. And like, I just, I watch and I listen to the stories and like see them as grownups now. And I connect them with kids that I have in my class currently or that I've had in the past 10 years of teaching. And I don't know, for me, I just, I like being able to connect that with my job and like, I, cause I think a lot of people can be very closed minded on what is acceptable as far as school behavior, but we've got to remember that there are like, this is totally off topic, but anyways, I just liked hearing that, you know, he didn't like school and I, I kind of internalized that as like, I want to be able to reach those kids. So they, there is something Sick. that they do like about school or they do remember liking about school. But I also really like the story when his mom was talking about Christmas and she said he like became overstimulated with all of the gifts that he was like, they were giving him. Oh, yeah, that was funny. And I just, you could totally picture that. Oh, in him, I feel like, you know, he still mm -hmm. fired up. Yeah. Still fired yeah. Up. Yeah. So it's I think epic. I love that. I love watching just the energy he has. Yeah. So he was sick. Super fun. So um, sick. I was hyped on the, um, I mean, I was like watching like younger footage of dudes like that, especially when they put in a piece like that, where it's like, you can watch them younger and they'll show a few more recent clips and then like what, like another month or two and we'll see his, his new video part, which is rad. Um, so a lot of the younger stuff was cool. The whole story about Lakai and girl was rad. Yeah, that um, was a cool story. That was sick. Uh, and then they put a, put in a couple of schoolyard clips from probably like last summer or something. He had Lakai's on, so it was a little while back, but not too long. Where he did that, um, Half cap people knows manual 80 and the table was heavy and then yeah. full capped it. Um, I was thinking too, it's pretty sick that he has a table at his park. So he could just get all his table tricks down and then go to the schoolyard and handle them. That's so rad. Uh, but yeah, I know I really liked it. I've been hyped. Beeble, his pushers have been one of my favorites out of this, this year or season, however you want to call it. Um, I think the other thing that I really like about Brandon Beeble is like, you know that Beeble is always being – Beeble. Like, if you look at those old clips, like, his style has not changed. Like, as far as clothing, skating, attitude, like, personality. Like, I feel like he's always been the same person the whole time. You know, like, we see these guys go through these, like, fake phases, I think, where they're trying to identify with a certain group. But I feel like Beeble has always been Beeble. And I, I, I love that about him. I think there's something admirable about, like, he's always just been himself and he's not afraid to be who he is. Yeah, I, I thought it was interesting when he was skating that um, that table down like the what is it a three or four at that park in Sacramento. Yeah, that was cool as fuck. Yeah, well that's an epic. That's a legendary sack spot. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was sick. I'm trying to blank on his filmer's name at the moment. But anyway, um, the filmer was like, "Oh, like are you still thinking that half cab nose one? Like, what are you thinking?" And you could tell. I, I don't. I'm. Not, it's a paraphrase. I don't remember exactly what people said, but something along the lines of like, kind of just let me figure it out. Yeah, just let and me flow. I was flow. sick to just yeah yeah just like let me flow like. You could see Beeble was trying to just figure it out, like what trick was he filling with his mind, and then and got, that fully cap, nose got that cat, that nose blunt heavy one, dude. Perfect, fully, too. What are you, fully nose blunt revert? Yeah, he went to fakie. Yeah. Well, Probably and I that. think that that's, like, the thing as a teacher, too. You know, like, I think that easily we can classify some of these kids as, like, bad eggs when really, like, I mean, Brandon Beeble has got to be highly intelligent, and the amount of motivation and, like, persistence and resiliency he has is fascinating. I don't, I don't know. Like I really liked that part as well. Or like when his, um, one of his past filmers brought up too. Like when, like sometimes you'll see him just messing around doing like, um, like a like a, a wall ride, or he'll do like yeah. a and fly. But he always goes back to like what he thinks is hype. You know, like what he gets hyped on, and just kind of going back to like. Beeble is always Beeble, you know, like I always think of that uh that clip of him doing a hand plant and he goes, Ham plant in the middle of it. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Dude, I Beeble's that. epic. Beeble's I, I yeah, I mean, I've already said it. I love the personality and the energy that it brings just through videos. I mean, I haven't even I've never been at a the same skate park as Beeble before or watched him really in person. But, but this push series is maybe want that to happen even more. It's just got to be pure entertainment. 
there was a part of me that was a little bit like when it got over, I was like, oh, because it's like we have to wait. Dude, it was now. 15 minutes. I hit play. I was like, yo, it's going to be long. But then it went through so quick. I was like, this is a solid episode. But we're done yeah, now. I'm hyped with to him. see his part. Thank God. We're, we're done now, though, until they, you know, premiere. Yeah, part time. Yeah. Yeah. Work. Let's but get it. I'm hyped I'm on that. I'm trying to see. Yeah, straight up. Super hey, I have a question. That. Do you remember from last year? Did they premiere it? Like, did Mountain Dew premiere it as a video premiere before they released it on the barracks, or did it come out on the barracks before they did the like a? They did a premiere in LA. Yeah, did and did that happen before it came out on the barracks? That's yeah, funny. like yeah, okay. just like a day or like not long before, but yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember. I was thinking about that. That would be a fun to go to I know, that. right? Let's go, Grant. Um, is there anything else? What what have we not talked about yet? I think that's everything. Mike, you got anything popping up on your brain right now? Do I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything that happened this week in skateboarding that we have not mentioned that you want to mention? Nope. Angie? That's it. Um, that's all? Yeah. Hey, wait. Remember that one week we did shout outs? Oh, you, oh, you want to do that again? Um, okay. Can I go last? Yeah. As long as we've confirmed. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, that's all we read down. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually. See, I knew I was freaking forgetting something. Schmatty Chaffin. Oh, <laughs> currently pro for Mystery Funny. Skateboards. Mystery Skateboards is infamous for the black and white graphics. Um, earlier, Schmatty tweeted. Let me pull it up just so I can give you guys a uh, an exact quote. He goes, "Really getting bored of this black and white shit. I need some color in 2017." <laughs> 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 so there's no. Confirmation that he's referring to mystery, but um, me and oh, Mike. Yeah. I mean, me and Mike. Obviously, we're gonna speculate. Um, not to mention, a few weeks ago, he tweeted like something around along the lines. This is paraphrased. I don't want to pull it up because it's a little old. Um, about leaving something about like it's hard to leave someone that really backs you, but he kind of, it's looking like he has to do that. And I would say mystery is the main money back them. They gave him his first board. Obviously, they turned him pro, and then to this so. Um, my best guess would be personally, I wouldn't be surprised if he leaves mystery. And if that happens, I'm saying he's going to visual with Joey. Definitely. Um, so uh, we'll see how that unfolds. That's definitely the move. I can pretty much guarantee that. I mean, think about mystery's aesthetic. Like, does Schmatty Chaffin fit there at all? No, everyone was surprised the second he was announced on the team. I mean, think about the people that they added at the same time Moose and Schmatty. Moose fits completely, entirely, but Schmatty, like, nah. <laughs> yeah so we'll see how that goes um what about your what about the um Insta yeah about, we about, about davis right davis wearing new balances and shit oh yeah we just found yeah. out right before we went live we went uh chris cole posted insta story and i was like oh who's that he got a he got a real davis board but new balance who is that and i looked at his face i was like dang that davis dipped on dc too later dc lost another one hectic oh, man, um that's crazy and he did look nice in those new balances though good for him Though they were the pretty pink ones. Yeah, and he had a sticker on his board, which always means there's a little more than just he's getting shoes, you know? Yeah. Yep. That means, generally, that means he's signed a contract. He's getting some paper coming his way. So thank goodness sick. you told me the correct way to say his last name before the podcast. Oh, Torgerson? Started. Davis Torgerson. Yeah. Because I got, I got my Davis Torgerson recycled skateboard headphones. It's good. It's a good person to support, especially yeah. so sick. right there in Minnesota. Yeah. Speaking of Minnesota, Familia, cool. Familia's got those numbers boards. Oh, they did. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Crazy. Yep. Okay. They um they got some of the the nine one seven boards, but they sold out in like a day. Because nine one seven's cool. I must okay. add, Yarne has uh, a clip in that. Uh, Who's that? that <laughs> Just one. It's sick. But oh, he's the best skateboarder. <laughs> Yarne's on Yarnay. one for life. He's um, the best, dude. Yeah, that seems to be a sweet shout out to Mike. You got anyone? Rachel? I mean, I'm, I would imagine you shout out Rachel because she's what the cool. pop? Yeah, she's cruising. <laughs> Anything else to add, Mike? Nope. Um, okay. Angie, you said you want to go last, so I guess I'll say, I don't know. Conditions is out if you want to go watch that. Oh, but, yeah, go watch Grant's video. That's what I should have yeah, said. Yeah. yeah, Grant. Hey, go watch Grant's video and then leave in the comments if you think Grant should have had first part. <laughs> I didn't edit it. It wasn't up to me. I'm fine. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. We, we right. did mention it, though. We did think about, like, 
Me or the kid Anthony. We couldn't decide who was going to go first. But. Yours made more yeah. sense. Enjoy it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Angie, go ahead. Um, shout out to... You can't think about this song. Like not, you you out, definitely thought about this. Shout out to myself because I'm lit. <laughs> Okay, that's an interesting <laughs> way to end it, but looks like that's it and that's all. Rachel, say bye. Bye, Rachel. Later, skaters. <laughs>